friends. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are staying well, you're taking care of yourself, taking care of those who you love. I know there's a lot going on right now and stress and anxiety seems to be the normal over these past few weeks. And it can be really frustrating at this time of the year you know, where we're full supposedly of energy and excitement as the weather gets warmer it's time for us to do stuff and and put goals into action right so it can be really really frustrating maybe upsetting when the energy of our collective and the world seems to be telling us the opposite Right, but something else that's really important about this time of year at the spring equinox is this idea of balance. So yes, it is a time of new beginnings and of growth and expansion in the springtime, but balance is also a really wonderful lesson with the equinox. So we have equal day and equal night, and I think it's a really important lesson for right now and what's going on with us as well in the world. So balance for us now might look different than what we thought it would about a month or so ago, right? Maybe balance now means taking a bit more time in quiet, in solitude, in preservation for yourself and for the collective, right? So looking at what balance can look like and maybe where we can err on the softer side of what balance looks like to us is what we're gonna be focusing on today. So for this yoga practice, you don't need any props. We're gonna go fairly gentle, fairly slow, hopefully get a little bit of anxiety released, hopefully get a little bit of time to check in and find some quiet. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start seated, but sitting on your knees <clears throat> in Virasana or hero's pose. So sitting your hips back onto your heels, and if this isn't comfortable for you, you can place a pillow underneath your knees here as well. And then just resting your hands in your lap when you're ready. Drawing your belly button slightly back to help strengthen the lower spine. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears and draw your chin down and in towards your chest. Closing your eyes here. Softening the muscles around your face. And beginning to take big full breaths. Feeling your inhales nice and deep in your chest. Exhale, softening anywhere across your body. You might be holding on to some tension. Maybe that's along the nape of your neck, across your shoulders, maybe even across and into your heart. Take a few settling and grounding breaths here. To really breathe into your body. Notice how you're feeling. Maybe begin to notice your mind begin to settle a bit here. We'll inhale, draw your hands up to your heart, Anjali Mudra prayer pose. Drop your chin down towards your fingertips. Take a silent bow in of gratitude for your practice, your able body, for the health and well-being of your loved ones and sending an extra big breath of healing love out into the collective.
Inhale, draw your hands up towards the sky. Looking up towards your thumbs, big side body stretch. Exhale, release both hands down. We'll inhale, draw your hands together, reaching up. Exhale, hands draw down. One more, just like that, big inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it down. Good, inhale, reach up. This time we'll interlace your fingertips. We're gonna bring them back behind the nape of your neck here, bringing your thumbs down along the back of your neck. Take a big inhale, draw your heart up towards the sky, and then exhale, just dip your right elbow down to the right as your left elbow reaches up. Nice lateral stretch here. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Good, inhale slowly back up to center. And exhale your way left elbow down, right elbow up towards the sky. Full big breath. Good, inhale up to center. Draw your hands out nice and wide in a big T. Take a big breath in, reach through your fingertips. Well, exhale, seated twist, turn your chest towards the right. Bringing your right palm behind you, your left palm on the outer edge of your thigh. Nice and gentle here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good. One more inhale, belly lifts. Exhale, slowly unwind. Come back to center, unraveling your spine one piece at a time. And then let yourself inhale. And exhale, twist, second side. Left palm behind you, use your right hand to help open your chest up towards the left. Take two big breaths. Good, and then gently unravel, take your time. We'll make our way to tabletop pose on our hands and knees when you're ready. Palms under shoulders, knees under hips. Go ahead and reach your palms towards the top edge of your mat. We'll find puppy pose. Extend your arms, dropping your forehead down towards the mat, keeping your hips above your knees. Go ahead and take two full big breaths here, bringing your shoulder blades onto your back. As you reach your hips up nice and high towards the wall behind you. Good, one more big breath in. Good, pressing down into your palms, gently lift yourself up, back tabletop pose. Bring your palms back under your shoulders, gently bring your right foot forward in between your hands. Finding a low lunge here, gently drop into your left hip as you reach your chest forward towards the front of your mat. Feeling free to lift up onto tented fingertips if that makes it easier for you. Soften the backs of your shoulders, the back of your neck. Take two big breaths. Settling into your hips. Good, inhale, reach your heart forward, look forward. Exhale, begin to straighten your front leg as you reach your hips back. Right toes come up off the ground for runner's stretch. So lengthen across your hamstring as you gently reach your heart forward. And then exhale, draw your nose towards your knee, coming down as deep as it feels okay for you. Letting the back of your neck be the last thing to soften here. And take two big breaths. Good, inhale, slowly look forward towards your toes and exhale, walk it back, knee over ankle. Go ahead and press down through your right foot. Inhale, bring your hands up towards the sky then we're gonna bring your hands down onto your hips. So we're gonna take a warrior two shape, but you're gonna stay kneeling. So take that back foot 
Twist it around behind you so that your knee is now facing the left and your right foot is still facing forward. Go ahead and bend into that front knee and inhale, reach your hands up. Bent knee warrior two. Good. Take two full breaths. Softening your shoulders. Inhale, open your palms up towards the sky. Exhale, bent knee peaceful warrior. Left palm drops down onto your thigh. Reach your right fingertips up and back behind you. Two big breaths. Inhale, slowly reach forward. Exhale, bring both hands down around your front foot and draw those left toes back behind you so you're back in your low lunge here. Good. We're going to step your right knee back to meet your left so you're back in that tabletop pose. Just go ahead and take a nice easy breath here. Drawing your left foot in between your hands when you're ready. Finding that low lunge pose again. Dropping into your hips. Gently reach your heart forward. Exhale, get some space into your right quadricep muscles. Two full breaths. Inhale, heart reaches forward, looking up. And exhale, take it back, run or stretch. Lengthen your left leg, toes come up off the ground. Bend your knee if you need to. And then soften down into a shape that is beneficial to you here. Remembering to release any bits of tension that might be creeping into your shoulders, the nape of your neck, even the muscles of your face. Reminding ourselves to be nice and gentle with our bodies here. And one more breath. Inhale, looking forward to your toes. And exhale, walking back into the low lunge. Good, press down through your foot. Inhale, bring your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hands on your hips. Good. We're going to take that bent knee warrior two in the opposite direction now. So bring your right toes behind you, opening your knee to the right. Bend into that front knee, and when you're ready, inhale, hands reach out. Good. Take two big breaths. Feeling yourself nice and powerful through your core. Inhale, palms open to the sky. Exhale, peaceful warrior to the back. Two big breaths. Good. Inhale, back up. Exhale, pivot yourself forward, so right toes come back behind you as your hands frame that front foot, and lightly step yourself back, tabletop pose. Take a full big breath. Good, and then bring your toes together, knees open wide, drop your hips back towards your heels, nestle your belly in between your thighs. Rest your forehead on the mat. Find child's pose. Good. Let yourself breathe fully into your heart here. Honoring this pose of rest and reconnection. Giving ourselves the time and the space to take care of ourselves. One more breath here. And then press down through your palms. Inhale, gently lift up. Tabletop pose. 
We're gonna make our way to downward facing dog. Tuck your back toes, gently lift your knees and send your hips back behind you. Take a full big breath in. Exhale, release the back of your neck. Gently pedal into one foot and then the other to create a little bit of space in the backs of your legs. We're gonna step your right foot forward in between your hands and then drop your left heel down towards the floor. We're gonna bring ourselves up to stand to face the left side of your mat. So all of your toes will face the left and your heels will come back behind you. So bring your hands onto your hips for a wide-legged forward fold here. You're gonna press down on your hips as you inhale, reach forward and up through your heart. Exhale, hinging at your hips. Draw your heart forward. Once you find that stopping point for the backs of your legs, go ahead and release through the back of your neck. Keep your hands on your hips here. And take three full breaths. Then pressing down through your feet, strengthen your thighs, slowly lift yourself all the way back up to stand. And then we'll take your fingers interlaced behind your low back, pressing down through your fist to inhale, reach your heart up towards the sky, open your throat. This time as you exhale, hinging forward at your hips, your heart reaches forward and your fists can reach away from your sitting bones if that feels okay for your shoulders. Releasing through the crown of your head, Feeling your weight rock slightly into your toes. Taking three big breaths here. Then press down through your feet and slowly rise all the way up. Fists come down, heart reaches up. And then we'll just come to lay down on your backs. So go ahead and bring your feet out in front of you. <clears throat> Knees towards the sky, laying yourself all the way down. Good. And maybe just feeling your spine on the floor here for a few breaths. Feeling your hips grow heavy. Your breath nice and full. And placing your right ankle on top of your left knee, flexing your foot to create this figure four shape here. And then we're gonna bring your right knee in towards your chest, still keeping that left foot flexed. If you wanna interlace your hands behind your right thigh and gently using the weight of gravity to help you open up the outer edge of your left hip a bit here. Closing your eyes and taking five full big breaths, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your nose. And four more just like that. And you can gently release your right foot back down to the floor. Place your left foot down and allow your knees to windshield wiper sway themselves side to side. So you take a deep breath in, deep breath out. And then we'll gently switch sides, flexing your right foot, placing your ankle on your knee, and then maybe lifting that left knee in toward your chest, fingers interlaced behind your thigh here. Maybe notice that one side feels really different from the other. If you notice that later in a more personal practice, feel free to add some additional time, some few extra breaths onto that side that feels a little bit stickier.
as you begin to soften into your breath here, softening the muscles around your face. Taking three big full breaths. And gently placing your left foot back to the floor, uncrossing your ankles, and allow them to sway side to side. Good. And we're gonna bring both knees in towards your chest here. Go ahead and bring your hands around the front of your knees and gently hold them in towards your chest. Just feel your low back relax onto the mat for a few breaths here. And bringing your left thigh on top of your right for a reclined cow face pose, you're going to stack your knees one on top of another and then reach your hands interlaced around for your right knee and gently using gravity to help press your knees in towards your chest. You should feel this gentle stretch on the outer edge of your left hip here in the IT band area. Just take a few breaths to soften there. And slowly release, uncross your knees, go ahead and hug both knees in towards your chest again, opening them up as wide as your mat and take a big full breath. And softly switching sides, we'll draw your right thigh on top of your left. And then use interlaced hands to gently hug around and reach your knees in towards your chest. Good. Feel that stretch light up the outer edge of your hip again as you grow heavy in your shoulders. Take a few big deep breaths. softly release uncrossing hug both knees in towards your chest open your knees up wide gently rock side to side we'll take both feet up towards the sky for happy baby you can reach to grab your ankles if you can reach your big toes with your peace fingers that's another option flexing your toes in towards your shin as your sacrum relaxes onto the mat bring your knees down towards the floor and take three big breaths. And you can gently bring your ankles and your knees back together. Softly let your feet come back to the floor. Go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. Open your knees up wide in butterfly legs or Baddha Konasana. Gently placing one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart here. Using this time to notice the balance in your breath. The rise of your inhales into your belly. And the fall of your exhales through your chest.
Just give yourself this time and space to just be with your breath. And softly bring your knees back together. Release your legs out long in front of you for your Shavasana. Feeling free to keep your hands where they are or release them down by your sides. Your choice. Just allow your body to completely release and rest onto your mat here. And take a big full breath in. And sigh it out. Allow some movement to come back into your fingers and your toes. As you gently bring your knees back up towards the sky, feet on the floor. Rolling yourself over through one side. Take your time here. Maybe collect your breath in this soft and easy fetal position. Allow yourself to press down against the floor to gently lift yourself back up into your comfortable seat here. We'll take one final breath here. Hands at your heart. Chin in towards your fingertips. Take a full big breath into your heart. Ending with a mantra in yoga that is so very powerful, I think, especially for humanity and ourselves at this time. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu, which translates to let all beings be happy, healthy, and at peace. And may my actions contribute to the happiness, the health, and the well-being of all beings. Namaste. Thank you all for taking this time for your practice. Stay well. Stay full of love. And I'll talk to you soon.